So just a quick reminder, when you're ready to start painting, please put a piece of paper underneath your painting to catch any extra water color. Um, make sure to have a cup of water, half full of water. Um, you'll want to have your watercolor set open and use the brush inside. Remember to add some water to the colors that you plan to use. And you'll also want a paper towel handy to dry your brush on and to clean up any spills. As you start to paint, you might want to think about what colors you have selected and start planning out their placement. You might choose to use certain colors for certain patterns and repeat those colors in those patterns throughout your design. Remember, you can use any of the different techniques that we have explored from blending using water to create almost an ombre or gradient effect, um, from mixing different colors on your paper as well, to also using some of the different texture techniques that um, we have covered in the other videos for example, in this purple area, I just used the saran wrap lifting technique. And then here in the blue section, I'm using the gather technique with some salt. I also used a drip technique. Um, you can experiment with your paints as well and discover what works. So I found when I dripped water and let it sit for a while and then blotted it with my paper towel, it actually lifted up the paint to add these fun drips. So have fun with it. Explore different techniques as you're working. Um, think about making sure to include the colors that you've selected and repeat them throughout and just have fun expressing yourself through this unique neurographic design that you have created. Enjoy!